so you have like a handful of good locations, but struggle to find new and refreshing ones, well then you are not alone. Because I too have no idea how to find good locations. <laughs> Jokes aside, I had that problem too. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve that. For tip number one, you're gonna need your phone. For me, that's my iPhone. Let's go to the maps, change it to satellite. Let's say I'm looking for a car park rooftop with kind of a vantage point of the Cologne Cathedral and also maybe one that's not so flat so I can have more vantage point of the car and have different perspectives. Okay, so let's look here. This one is big, but it doesn't have a vantage point of the Cologne Cathedral, probably not. And it's also flat, but I think it's cool, but it doesn't fit my criteria here. Okay, so next one. This looks interesting more layers so different perspectives like this bridge thing over here also could be a nice photo does it have a vantage point uh, maybe i don't know uh, let's see if it's a public one it is and okay it has a vantage point the cologne cathedral so this looks perfect okay so the way you're going to save this so you don't forget where you actually found it is by placing a marker here and tab save to. I already have a car spots folder. So you're gonna create a new one. The name of the location I'm gonna call rooftop cologne, save it. New folder name, I'm just gonna call it car spots two. Hit create and saved. And also because I kind of like this other rooftop, I'm gonna save this one too. So I'm gonna do the same thing, save to car spots to and saved. And it's that easy. Just go on your phone, look for locations through your maps and mark them so you don't forget them. You can find some pretty good locations through this. Tip number two is very simple. And that is to just keep an eye open for good locations whenever you are in the move. Most of you like me don't have the time to just mindlessly drive around and look for locations. So whenever I'm on the move, I have an eye open for like long streets for good compression shots or uniquely looking alleys or good looking parking spots. And when you do find a location that you like, just mark it on the map like I've shown you in tip one. That way you don't forget where these locations are and you can come back to them later when you have time. I know this is going to sound kind of cheesy, but ever since I've gotten into photography, I see my surroundings from a new perspective. I kind of look at everything like maybe this could be a good location. Wherever I am, I'm asking myself, could I use this location for anything? I know it's kind of weird, but it's not like I can't think of anything else. But if you develop this kind of subconscious eye for good locations, then you're gonna have no problem finding good ones. Tip number three is very simple, and that is to just Google for spots. I know we kind of Google like everything, not so much spots. It's very simple. Just go on Google and type in spots in or photo locations in and then the city you live in. There are many blogs out there showing locations you might have never found on your own. I actually found a blog post for this the other day going over locations in Cologne and I really like those locations and I think I'm gonna try them out. If you want to see me do a video about it just comment down below. For the next tip some of us are probably gonna have to leave our comfort zone and that is because tip number four is to ask other local photographers for locations but don't just DM people and ask them for the whole list of all the locations. What I mean is when you see a post with the location you really like but you just can't seem to find, don't be afraid to ask them. I know this can be a bit weird, especially if this is a person you don't know, but don't be afraid because most of them are very friendly and are happy to help you. But now that you know where to find good locations, watch this video to level up your car photography.